Good morning, Diedrichson Dolphins. This is Doug the Dog Biscuit with your morning announcements. Today is Tuesday, February 23rd, and that means it is National Dog Biscuit Day. Yay for dog biscuits! Did you know that dog biscuits were invented by a butcher in England in the 1800s? He was trying a new recipe for biscuits that turned out to be terrible. He gave one to his dog who loved it, and the rest is history. What the, uh, oh! What a bummer way to go, dude. Anyway, my name is Dennis the Dog Biscuit, and I am here to tell you that the largest dog biscuit ever made weighed in at 617 pounds. I wonder what dog that was for. Maybe Clifford? <laughs> if you ate a little bit of dog biscuit, nothing would happen. It's edible, but eating too much might make you sick as dog food doesn't have the same strict safety regulations as human Zero. food. Zero. Whoa, what are you doing? Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Just wrong, 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 I tell you. Hi, my name is Derek the Dog Biscuit. Do you know about Louisiana alligator dog biscuits? The name says it all. They are made from alligator protein. They even make alligator jerky. Who doggers? But seriously, biscuits and other snacks should only make up 10% of a dog's daily calorie intake or dogs can become overweight. It's important to keep your pooches healthy, kids. Wait, what? I, ah! Oh, easy come, easy go. Hello, my name is Reginald the Dog Biscuit. Yes, I realize my name lacks alliteration. Alliteration is when a series of words starts with the same letter, like... Dog the Dog Biscuit, or Clyde the Cat. Anyway, how about some jokes? What is the main ingredient in dog biscuits? That would be cauliflower. <laughs> My dog biscuit got run over by a steamroller. Now it's just flatbread. <laughs> flatbread. <laughs> what kind of dog biscuits can fly? Oh, that would be plain ones. <laughs> All righty. It's time to turn it over to the Diedrichson crew for the rest of the announcements. Wait, no. Oh!